uh, the 7750 version. I didn't get the chance to show everyone at home how different this bracelet is. By looking mm -hmm. at it from the front, you see it's a three-piece link mm -hmm. bracelet. But if you look at it from the profile, I may show it to everybody. It's a hexagon, right? Optic hexagon. Sorry, I always hexagon. Yeah, hexagon. You see how? Yep. Yep. You see how the bracelet, the shape of the link, is not a rectangular, but instead is hexagon. This is all the small details that I'm telling you about uh, with all the Aragon watches. Now, stay with me, and I want to talk to you about what is the power reserve movement. You see this watch, uh, we debuted this last year in November. We pre sold in, you know, sold out before we air, you know, this watch. And what you see is the hour, the minute, let me see if I can, right, hour, minute, second hand, and then you see this red triangle hand. This is the center power reserve hand. This move, you know, this hand indicates from E, you know, empty to all the way to 40 hours of power reserve. Now, I'm going to show you what it means. So I'm going to unscrew the crown, okay? And then you're going to notice it pops for like a, a millimeter apart. As I manually wind the movement, you see how the hands is moving? This is like the gas gauge of an automobile. This is telling you how many hours of energy are reserved inside this watch. So now we are very privileged to be able to be one of the first outside of Seiko group to use this movement. This is the NE57, okay? And you can see the rotor is fully decorated. And this is by far very, very interesting. Let me see if I can show, you, show that to you, see how this movement is. And then the anti-gravity, the signature of this is the double curved, okay, convex crystal. Look at the clarity. So if you uh, <clears throat> have seen some magnified crystal, you know, those thick, thick crystal, you will not be able to see the hands like this yeah. because usually it's, uh, there's distortion. There's no distortion. And I want, if we can get a, a closer look, you can see the elevation of the hand. You can see the canyon. You can see how every single hand, the hands are elevated, okay, above the basil, okay? This is such a cool, cool design. And for only $139, to be able to get a Japanese Seiko NE57 power reserve complication. Dive watch. Yep, 200 meters water resistance, K1 crystal. And then, by the way, I forgot to mention, you see this loom, you know, that half circle is a double layer dial. Mm -hmm. And at night, when you charge the dial, oh, does that the light white up? part will light up in green. Okay, so it's a white loom glows wow. green. That is cool. I just looked at you it. You can in my... see that. Look at this. Oh, that's very cool. It's a beautiful watch. I'm wearing the 50 millimeter. We have two sizes. We have the 50 well, and the 45. Okay, if you want the 50 in the green, two remain. Only two okay. remain. Right. 50 millimeter in the green. In the blue 50 millimeter, fewer than a dozen now. Wow.